Hey folks, it's that time again. Welcome to Two Minutes with Bill Robinson, brought to you by the Perry Hill Road Church of Christ here in Montgomery, Alabama. Have you ever considered how confused the religious world of the first century was? It didn't look much different than ours. Jesus warned his disciples in Matthew 24 and verse 24, for false Christ and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, the elect. In Acts 5, when the council of the Jews wanted to kill both Peter and John for preaching the gospel, a man by the name of Gamaliel stood up and reminded them that in the recent past there were two famous impostors, one by the name of Thutis and the other a more recent uh, Judas of Galilee. And both of these men rose up and led a following away. But when those men died, their followers dispersed. And it's on that basis then that he argues so that in this present case, I tell you, keep away from these men, referring to the apostles, and let them alone. For if this plan or their undertaking is from man, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow it. You might even be found opposing God. Verses 38 and 39. The source of all the confusion in the world, both then and now, is Satan. For our God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. 1 Corinthians 14:33. How do we know whether one's teaching is the truth or a falsehood? John wrote, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 John 4 and verse 1. How are we to test them? By the word of God. Paul said, But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. Galatians 1 verse 8. There is only one gospel. All the rest that is called gospel, but is not according to the scripture, is a curse devoted to God's destruction. According to Jesus' words, what you believe and or what you don't believe matters. The one who rejects me and receives not my words has a judge. The same word that I have spoken shall judge him in the last day. John 12, verse 48. How about you, friend? Do you have a question? Email me at perryhillchurch at gmail.com. Perryhillchurch at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to study with you. Thank you so much for listening.